there are different ways of getting at memorable things. So when I say to you, what high school did you go to? You know, that's long-term memory stuff. But when I ask you that question, I'm asking you to recall the answer. I could also say, did you go to high school A, B, C, or D? And you could say C. You would recognize the correct answer when you see it. Both of those things are on a category of something called explicit memory. There's one and only one correct answer to the question, right? So, but as another type of way of retrieving information from memory, and it's called implicit memory. So you have an experience, and it, maybe it's a repeated one, and you're affected by it, and your actions re reflect that, even though you have no recollection of having had that experience. I'll give you an example. There was a woman at the day center, and I, you know, I saw her, she's a very pleasant woman, and um, I once asked her, and one of the other participants was Frank. And I said, would you do me a favor? This is at the end of lunch. I said, would you do me a favor? Go over to Frank, pick up his lunch tray, and empty it in the trash can, please. And she did. Two days later, which was the first time I came back, right at the end of lunch, she came over to me and said, do you have something for me to do? And I said, like what? And she said, I don't know. She never asked me that at the end of lunch, ever until that day. So she made a memory of me asking her to do me a favor. <laughs> she made a memory that I asked her to do, she couldn't recall what it was, but it made her feel good. People with, with Alzheimer's or other forms of dementia, when are they ever asked to do me a favor? Do me a favor, can you help me? I need your help, I need you. It's so important to recognize the person behind the eyes and say hello, you know, I know you're there. Even if you can't quite tell me what I just told you, I know you're there and I know this is making sense to you. And my demeanor and my way of being comes through. And I think we have to remember this is another human being. I think a lot of these things about they don't know, they won't remember, you can do, it's innocently done. Nobody ever really wants to hurt somebody most of the time, I think. But I think we have to get past the diagnosis. So if you assume that someone can't make new memories and then treat them that way, and then they respond to it, especially if it's negative, now you're telling the physician, he's getting angry for no reason. Oh, we better give him a tranquilizer. I, you see, it just, it just completely cascades. So people with dementia can make new memories. They can't recall the situations but they can react as if those situations were in their memory, because they are.